In Braga, Portugal, 2005, August 7th, a boy named Pedro Costa was born. Pedro Costa was a special talent, and Braga could see that. So he got called up to play in their academy, but he actually hasn't been the best there. He wasn't disciplined enough in training. And the board had agreed to terminate his contract with Braga at the end of the season. But Braga had striker problems, injury after injury. It was March, and Braga was desperate for a striker. So they only had one option, and that was to call up Pedro. After getting told he had to leave at the end of the season to being called up for the first team to help Braga, Pedro knew this was his chance to show himself on the big scene. He has eight games left of the season to save his professional football career. Braga is currently second in the league tied with Porto for the first spot. So the pressure was on. Pedro Costa's debut is against Aroca, and they're 1-0 down when Pedro gets substituted in. He has a mission. Let's see if he can save Braga. Two minutes in, Pedro gets the ball in the box. And Pedro has already scored for Braga. It's a miracle. He has equalized. But as good as it is, they still need to win the game. Pedro is through on goal. You can't miss. You can't miss this. It's the perfect chance to score. He's bloody missed him! What a prat! What a prat! It's the last minute of the game, and Braga has a corner. Braga has the ball right outside of the box, and Braga has scored. The team was going wild. Braga has won the game, and Pedro Costa played a part in it. Pedro Costa impressed the manager so much that he got in the starting 11 of only his second professional match, and in that match, Braga gets an early lead. But that's all. They do still win, which is important. Braga is on top of the league. Things are going amazingly. They only need to keep on winning. Pedro Costa gets a cross, but he hits the post. And he gets another cross, but he just can't seem to hit the back of the net. And the game ends in a 0-0 draw. Disappointment for Pedro as that has made Braga go back to second place. So they need to win their next match, which would be against Benfica. So it was going to be tough. Pedro Costa is through on goal and Pedro Costa has lit up the place. He has scored to put Braga ahead, but in the second half, Benfica gets a corner, and Benfica has scored to equalize the game. Braga gets one last attack. Pedro Costa could finish the game off, but he misses. Fans are disappointed. Pedro Costa wins man of the match, but he's ashamed of his miss. And that now means Braga is three points off first place. Hope is being lost. And in the next match, Pedro gets another chance in front of the goal. And he scores to put Braga ahead, which wins them that game. And Pedro Costa scores another goal for Braga. But once again, it ends in a 1-1 draw, and things are going badly. There's one game left, and Braga has no chance of winning the league anymore. But they still have a chance of finishing second and going unbeaten. But Pedro Costa was on the bench, and things didn't go well as Porto took the lead, and it was looking like Braga was going to lose their first match of the season. But then the manager decided to substitute in Pedro. He has 10 minutes to get a goal. And in the 87th minute of the game, Pedro gets a chance and he takes it. Pedro has just scored to make Braga remain undefeated. He was the hero for his team. But it wasn't going to stop there as only two minutes later, he gets another chance and scores another goal to win the game for Braga. He just made sure Braga didn't lose and bring them back to second place. Everyone was talking about the kid from Portugal. He was special. And in his first season, he ended on six goals and one assist in seven matches. But that night, when Pedro got home, he got two phone calls. Pedro has to make a choice. Decide in the comments.